Hey, what's up, fellas? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today, looking at uh, Mookie Betts and his swing mechanics. Um, a lot of people recently asked me to take a peek. So we're going to kind of look at what he does, talk about it a little bit. Um, and then I'm also interested in hearing your guys' opinion on it. If you guys see things maybe that I don't see or maybe we see things differently, um, leave that in the comment section below. So let's first look at Mookie. Um, kind of what he does uniquely, and then also some of the things that he does that I've seen a lot of really good hitters. So here he goes, get kind of a leg kick. Um, let's start off with this. I think one of the most unique things about his swing is that he really has, you know, this big move forward. So if we kind of, if when he picks that foot up, if we just put kind of a little line back here, kind of on his back hip, you can see the amount of distance that he moves before he even really starts to rotate. So he's got kind of this big leap forward. Um, and again, you'll see, you know, most hitters are going to move somewhere sideways towards the pitcher. Some guys will move a little less. Some guys will move a little bit more. It's a pretty big move right here. Uh, reminds me a little bit of like a Will Myers move. They get these big moves where, you know, when they finally land this antler, you know this angle of the back leg they really get forward and um they get into their front leg you know more than most hitters because of this big move um yeah mookie if you look at two years ago he you know had unbelievable numbers all around last year you know power numbers were still pretty good you know, average i think was down a little bit compared to two years ago. I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but, um, you know, I don't know if, uh, again, I'm not against big moves, big strides. I don't know if this is something that may um, play into that consistency a little bit. Just interesting to look at. Um, so, again, really, really big move, and... You know, we'll talk about in a, in a few minutes how, you know, typically guys that kind of get forward this early, kind of move into their front leg, um, makes it a little bit more difficult to get the bat in the zone deeper, you know, deeper in the hitting zone. But before we get into it, let's, again, let's kind of look at, so here's his move, and you're going to see, like with, you know, most major league hitters, you're going to see kind of as they're moving into the ball this way, they're pulling back that way. So there's the move. You're not going to see, again, with a lot of younger hitters, you'll see body move forward, kind of hand sneak with them. Major league hitters, you're going to see the opposite. You're going to see move forward, pull back with the upper body. So you're going to get some resistance back here. It's going to allow you to really use you know, your entire body, allow the sequence to work properly instead of letting the upper body get involved too long. So I'm, I'm resisting with my upper body as I'm moving forward. And again, you can kind of see here as the hips begin to open here, front shoulder is still closed this way, and that's just because he's resisting back with his upper body. If you don't resist back, if you kind of just let the upper body and the hands come forward, then everything kind of opens together. You know, there's no real separation. So, pulls back, really moves forward a lot. Again, into that front leg a little bit there early. And, again, you kind of see it makes it a little bit tougher. You know, when you're not around this back leg as much, and you kind of jump forward and get it to this leg early. And the turn typically doesn't happen as deep, and so you're going to see a little bit more of a move this kind of move here where it's a little bit more like knob down kind of to the ball a little bit more and then as he gets kind of in here he then tries to you know again tries to get the bat to work on path um, and it'll just happen a little bit later because he's forward like this angle is a little bit you know it's not right from the side but because he gets over that front leg and into that front leg a little bit earlier, again, the turn is going to more happen out here instead of 
if he was a little bit more around his back leg and didn't jump as much, now the turn, you know, when his body turns and the bat turns around his body, it can enter the zone a little bit deeper. So, again, does that hurt his consistency? I don't, I don't know, maybe a little bit. He's not a big guy, and so I think he kind of, you know, he has really good power numbers for a smaller guy. Um, so, you know, does this move into the ball, this big move and jump into the ball help the power numbers a little bit? You know, perhaps that it does. He's using, he has to use his body a lot more. So maybe that does help with the power. Maybe it hurts a little bit with the consistency and with the average. You know, again, I, two years ago, I think he had some really, really, all of his numbers, I think, were really impressive a couple of years ago. So was that just... You know, a year where everything went right, and it's going to be tough for him to repeat that. You know, maybe. I don't know. Um, but again, even when he gets in here, he, he, then he starts to, you know, try to get on path. You can see he does a, although a little bit late with it, he does get, that kind of blurs out there, but tough pitch also. See, the ball's going to. Land somewhere probably right around there. He still hits a home run here on a tough pitch. You see his upper body working again. You're going to see the back shoulder or the front shoulder kind of working up and back. Back shoulder working under. So you see that angle of the upper body there. And then he's able to just get up through the ball. So, again, a couple of unique things that he does, a little bit different than a lot of hitters. Um, so I'm interested to see if this year, if he's able to kind of bounce back a little bit with the average and you know still put up some pretty decent power numbers for a, a smaller guy, obviously super athletic, quick twitch, you know type of guy so let me know if you guys have any comments about the swing some of the things you guys see that i may have left out uh subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already give us a thumbs up i'd appreciate that share the video with all your friends also check out the description box below we've got uh, a bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out as well that i think you will enjoy and that's all i got guys thanks again for watching i really appreciate it be sure to check out all our other videos and take care.